Well, look at her, guys. Just look at her. Oh, boy. Well, I'll pour you here. I'll pour outdoors. Everything fishing. Everything outdoors. And today, I am sitting on the beach. Beautiful. It is so beautiful out here. Uh, just had some lunch. Uh, caught uh, maybe half a dozen fish today. I think I'm about to head home. Um, there's going to be a video on that if you haven't seen it. But I do want to take a second and go through some of the tackle that I'm using for bass. I've actually uh, condensed it a lot. I used to have way too much, dude. I used to just carry way too much tackle. And to be honest, some of you might think I carry too much still. But for me, I feel like right now what's in my tackle box in there, um, I can conquer the world with and I can really catch anything. So I just want to give you guys a quick look at it. So we're going to turn the camera around. We're going to get up and uh, I'm, I'm really full. I just had a, I had a meal and I feel really good. But we're going to get up and we're going to go look at that. So let's do it. So here's the boat um, that I'm going to be using this season. This is a uh, Titan 12 Propel native watercraft. This was my dream boat for so long, guys. And I finally got one and I'm so stoked on it. But I, I don't want this video to go too long. Um, today I'm just rocking a couple, a couple ugly sticks. I got a medium heavy ugly stick. And then I got a medium ugly stick spinning rod that I could do more finesse stuff with. But that's not what we're going to talk about today. Today we're going to talk about what's in this box here, which is a DeWalt. Uh, <laughs> it's a toolbox. And it had tools in it, but I got a, a new DeWalt stacking system or whatever. It's real fancy. That's not what we're, looking, we're, we're talking about right now. But I had this. And I was like, you know what, man? That'll be perfect. So I actually attached it with some straps here. So it's attached to the boat and um, holds everything. So let's just go, go over what I have in here really fast. Um, I got some pliers. I got some extra pliers down here, but I uh, got some pliers. I got a really fantastic knife. It's gorgeous. I uh, got some sunglasses, an extra reel, which goes on my uh, my glass rod, which I don't have with me today. Uh, some, some extra fluorocarbon for liter and uh, just a scale. Uh, let me show you what I'm rocking down here. Um, these are the plastics that I that I use the most. I do have extra plastics in there, but these are the plastics that I use the most. I have some uh, some strike some Strike King uh, tubes, some menos. You guys know I like those menos. I really love these craws. Um, these are I think these are uh, sh what are they? I have extras in here, so I could show you what they actually are. They're these. Strike King Rage Craws, and I just have some extras. I just keep a little bit of extra stuff in there in case, like, the bite is hot on something and I run out. So I have some of those in there, and uh, the this was what was winning today. Not this size. I think this is a 5-inch, but this is a Kytec, and uh, I actually switched from the Kytec to the Rage Swimmers because they're a little bit cheaper. So, And I have some, some Sankos in there. A whole bag of Senkos and a whole bag of um, the smaller Ned Rig. Um, these. And I have these. A bunch of these in there. And that's it, guys. I got some, some of these, which are also um, Strike King, but I actually switched. I use the same baits. I don't really, I don't really use anything new. Like, see, these are just um, the same kind of... I have like what I'm confident with and I just keep using it. Um, this is the same, this one, these just rattle. So I don't really just mix it up much. These are some uh, little minnow type baits, which I really like, great for small mouth. Got some more Senko style worms. You know, I really don't do anything too fancy really don't but we're gonna go into the boxes and i'm gonna talk about most of the boxes so i'm gonna talk about this box which is my hard bait box um there's a box down there which is full of um pike and musky baits we're not going to talk about that today and then there's my catfish box 
which we're not going to talk about today. I'm going to make a whole video about that's this is all of the stuff I use for catfish. Super simple. Um, I'm going to make a whole video about catfish, my catfish uh, baits, not not baits, my catfish tackle and my rods that I use for catfish. But today we're going to focus on on mostly bass. So I'm going to take take this stuff out and show you how I consolidated this stuff and really, really made it really nice and simple. So I have my boxes. These are the boxes that I use. They're just Plano boxes. Let's start with my panfish box. Um, not technically a bass box, but you know, if the bite, to, a lot of the times I go out and the bite just sucks and there's panfish everywhere. So I, I pull out the panfish box, got some bobbers, some hooks, uh, these little crappy magnets or whatever trout magnets they're all the same and they work great for catching so many different things so that's my panfish box i'm gonna try to make this video quick i don't want to be here and do this for so long okay here's my terminal tackle -da! got some some tons some tungsten uh bullet weights other bullet weights some drop shot um weights here um, your your regular octopus hooks in a couple different sizes. I got these small um, Texas rig hooks, this, which are really great. You can Texas rig like one of those um, those little Ned rig worms, and, and it works fantastic. And then I just got a ton of these Gamagatsu uh, hooks here to do Texas rigs. Got some hooks that I use for swim baits, and uh, yeah, that's it. Some some swivels here i tried to keep only what i use so everything in here there's a fish that just jumped over there everything in here i use it guys it's not just with me and that's what i did man i had so much especially hard baits dude i had so many baits that i just would never use so i got rid of most of them i, I gave them away i sold some i actually traded some and it, it was awesome. This is my top water box. Dude, I had so many frogs in here, guys. So many. And I never, ever, ever threw frogs. Ever. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Wow. Anyway, I never threw frogs, guys. So I kept two frogs. And I actually kept two spooks, which I love to throw spooks. This guy, which I've, which is a little popper, I've caught a ton of fish on, needs more hooks. And whopper ploppers. If I throw top water, there's a very, very good chance, I mean 90% chance, I'm gonna throw a whopper plopper. So I have different size whopper ploppers here, and that's my go-to bait, that's my confidence bait, so that's what I kept. I really consolidated everything. Not even to make things lighter, but just to make it so I don't have so much crap out here when I'm out here fishing. And I had, dude, okay, I had a a jig box, a chatterbait box, a spinnerbait box, and I put them all in this box. So pretty much anything that has a skirt goes in this box. Tons of different jigs, all different colors, and you can see they fit fine. They're not like super, 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 super organized, but they all fit fine in there. I put these in a bag. These are, this is a bag of all different colored chatterbaits. All different colored chatterbaits. There's about maybe eight of them in there or something. And then I got a buzz bait. And I had a, dude, I had so many spinnerbaits. I had a bunch of like Walmart dollar spinnerbaits that I would never even throw. I had so much and I gave them all away. And um, all I kept was these three. If I can get, I think they're all Strike King. Got this one here. This uh, buzz bait, which is all mixed up now. This one here with more of a willow. And then this buzz bait. And that's that box. And then this box. Okay, so this box was the hardest box for me to consolidate. Let me get it in the sun. Okay, so this was the hardest thing for me to consolidate. And um, I just love hard baits. 
and I was like, you know what, man, I got to get rid of these hard baits. So I got rid of most of my hard baits. I gave a lot of them away and I actually traded uh, one guy on a Facebook group for a backpack and I gave him like a ton of stuff. But this is my hard bait box now. So I really love these KVD crankbaits. If you guys have been around the channel for any, any amount of time, you know, I love them and I uh, have them in different sizes. I think this is 2.5 and I think these are, I, I don't quote me, but yeah, so I have some crankbaits up here, all different type of crankbaits. These beautiful Rapala, this is a scatter wrap, but look at the, like, I kept the ones that I really, really love and I catch a lot of fish on. Look at that. Just the patterns on these are gorgeous, man. This one is a six, a six foot. I fish shallow water, man. I don't really fish out in the lake a lot. And when I go out in the lake, it's pretty shallow. That's another six foot. I do have some, some, you know, 10 footers. Uh, got some rattle traps in here. These rock. Got two of these. I had three, lost one. I had three of these and I lost two because this is one of my favorite things to throw. I think this is a red eye shad. I think this is by Strike King as well. I like using these things on most of my baits because, you know, it makes it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Sorry, I keep get bringing you guys away from it, but it's pretty sick. The chicks. But anyway. Um, yeah, and I, I don't have many jerk baits. I got this jerk bait, which I had another one and I lost it. And these baits are so expensive, so when I lose them, I like actually remember losing them, because I'm because I catch I catch a decent amount. Of, this one, dude, this fish, this one kills when it gets a little bit when it gets a little bit uh hotter and the crayfish are out. This thing like kind of like digs into the sand on the bottom. Oh man, when the fish are bedding, dude, these things are no joke. These things are no joke. This perch one rocks too. This is a Rapala shad wrap i think or something like that they make all types of different ones these little jerk baits but as you can see guys i i went i went for like when i put my stuff together now i went for quality over quantity i had i can't tell you how many of those you know bass pro shop brand uh you know the cheap uh, what are they cornell or whatever like cheaper stuff that i had that i just you know it's good i'm not saying it's bad but I just wasn't really using it and someone else could so i just kept the stuff that i've been fishing for long enough to know what i really 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 like and i know i really love the action of these little flicker shad here i think this is a berkeley and that's a great bait and i kept what i what i know i would use and like when i'm out anything in this box can get thrown which i really really like i like having a box that you know anything in there can get thrown so that's the bass gear that I, I think that's all of it yep so that's the bass gear that i take when i'm bass fishing out here on the creek or in the lake or when they're bedded um that's what i take uh just take some extra plastics but i don't really take too many plastics because i only throw a handful of plastics that i really really like and that i'm really really confident with I love Ned Rigs. I love uh, I love Senko style worms, you know, five inch Senkos, whether they're Yum brand or Berkeley or whatever brand they are. I usually don't care too much um, as long as they're the right colors and I have a bunch of them. I love throwing those one inch worms. I love any craw pattern, love craw patterns for um, Texas rigs and stuff like that. Um, beaver style baits. I throw some beaver style baits. You saw those Guggen baits in there. I got some of those brush hogs. I haven't tried them yet. I haven't tried any um, Guggen bait ever until those. So I haven't even opened them yet. But I know they're going to work because they're pretty much just copies of what I've been throwing for so long. Like I said, I don't get too hung up on brands. I don't get too hung up on the brands. Whatever is like pretty much on sale, that's what I, I, I go cheaper or I go. I like the Kitex. I like the, the Rage Swimmers. So yeah, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I wanted to make a quick video for you guys showing you what I'm what I'm using on the kayak. Just in case you see a video and you're like, oh crap, what is that? 
that's what it is. I'm not going to change it. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really get a lot of new tackle too much unless I have to replace something. And if I replace something, it's just going to be something that you've already seen. So thank you guys so much for watching. Outpour East, Outpour Outdoors, everything fishing, everything outdoors. And dude, if you've stayed this far, you might as well subscribe. Uh, a lot of the people who watch the videos aren't subscribed, which is okay. I don't want to drag you guys along for anything that you don't want to be a part of. But um, if you could subscribe, it'll really help out the channel and um, you be a part of the family. And another thing I want to tell you is that if you're going through something right now, if you're going through something painful, I know life isn't always all rainbows and, you know, unicorns. Man, I just want to encourage you today and tell you that seasons change and that whatever you're going through, um, when, when some time passes, you're going to look back at it and you're going to look at how much stronger it has made you, how, how you have more perseverance now and how you can just endure more now. So I just want to pray for you right now in Jesus' name peace over your mind serenity over your mind peace over your heart right now and comfort uh may the holy spirit comfort you so god bless you guys outpour east outpour doors everything fishing everything outdoors thank you guys so much for watching